Hey everyone, Hollis here from Grapponi, and like I promised, today we have the new 2016 Mazda CX-9, and it's a vehicle I'm quite excited about. So, here it is. We have the Touring model here. It's the second one in the lineup. There are four different available. We have Sport, Touring, Grand Touring, and new this year for Mazda on any of them is Signature, so we'll get to talking about that one a little later. All of them are equipped very nicely, so they all come standard with keyless entry with push button start. They come with a rear view camera, touchscreen audio, the turbo four cylinder engine. You can get front or all wheel drive. There's a lot uh, to go over on this. So let's get started. So Mazda, when they redesigned this, had some high competition set in their sights. So they went after Acura with the MDX and Infiniti with the QX60. Now I haven't driven either of those, so I can't comment on how they compare to the two, but I can say this is a very refined SUV. They did a lot of work when it came to the noise, vibration, and harshness, making the cabin quieter. In order to do that, they added 53 pounds of sound deadening to the floor, and they did acoustic laminated glass up here in the front. So it's a much quieter ride than it's ever been. Everything inside has a high quality feel to it. You've seen how it looks. You've seen pictures of the dash and some video. So really uh, quite a, a substantial upgrade over the last generation. One of the things that Mazda noted when they were doing a lot of testing uh, in real life with just consumers like you and I, is they were noting that when most people drive, they do not rev their vehicle's engine above 3,000 RPM. Now you might be thinking, well that's silly, why would they bother testing that out? Because they wanted this to be a comfortable, easy vehicle to drive. So when they figured that out, they decided that torque was the most important factor in the engine rating, not necessarily the horsepower. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine. It's their Sky Active, so they've done all sorts of uh, material lightening to lighten the load of the engine and the vehicle. But with that, we have 250 horsepower and the, the big one, which beats out the competition even with V6s, is 310 pound feet of torque that comes in at 3000 RPM. So when you're doing like I am right now, driving around the city, or even when you're merging onto the highway, between that and the six-speed automatic transmission, it's seamless. You can take right off. I was pulling onto the highway earlier. The car didn't even downshift. It just kept right on going. And next thing you know, I was up to the highway speeds. And because of that, there was no drama whatsoever. So really uh, pretty awesome. But also, since it's a four-cylinder engine, you're going to get the best of both worlds. We talked about that horsepower and torque and the ease of driving, but we also now have excellent fuel economy. So we're gonna average about 21 in the city with the all-wheel drive, which this one happens to be, uh, 27 on the highway, and a com combination of 23, which again, as you're gonna note, will beat out all the competition because they have V6 engines, which suck up a lot more fuel. So Mazda did their homework. They did a very good job on that and beating the competition. Right now, we are headed up I-89. And I thought this would be a nice way to show how well the new Mazda drives. Hopefully you're not really hearing any road noise in the video because I know that here in the cabin I'm, I'm really not actually. It's incredibly quiet. I again am noticing that the car's not upshifting or downshifting at all. It's just keeping right in the gear that it's chosen. That torque is providing me more than enough power. I'm able to do the highway speed right now without any issue whatsoever. I think if I look here, yeah, it shows me my instant miles per gallon, and I'm right in what Mazda has claimed for their estimated fuel, so that's pretty awesome. Don't think that because Mazda made a large SUV that they forgot their racing routes and decided to give you a plain Jane ride. That is very far from the truth. I'm on one of my favorite back roads around here because it's very curvy and it gives me a good test of how a vehicle drives. And this one is very good. So I'm handling everything as I would in a vehicle. I like how it drives quite a bit. It's very smooth. That's one of the things that I first noted is going through the city with all the potholes and broken pavement or whatever. It's, a, it's an awesome ride. And out here, it's keeping with that tradition of Mazda fun, the zoom zoom, if you will, from their old ads. But what about a really broken up road? Well, right up here, we're gonna take a left onto a farm road, all dirt, 
actually the one that you saw me do for the escape video when I tested out the four wheel drive. It's extremely bumpy and it's been raining, so that's gonna help us out even more in that factor. So let's go down here, let's check it out. Let's see how well this does. I can already see the potholes everywhere, which is good and bad. All right, I'm sure the people filming right now are not too thrilled with it, but I'm still impressed. It's all washboard, it's broken pavement and, and dirt. And this is amazingly smooth. I'm truly impressed with this right now. And why not what we did with the escape? There's no one behind us. We'll test out the all-wheel drive in this. Mazda claims that it's a predictive all-wheel drive and that it can figure out according to the outside temperature, how you've been using the throttle and the steering input, what wheels need the torque the best. So let's put them to their test. Here we go. Yep, and it's working. I felt certain wheels slip and then other ones gain the traction as we we're taking off. And we took right off. The traction control kicked in because this is very loose dirt this morning as opposed to when we were doing it with the Escape when it was all hard packed still after they had ground it all up. So. I'd say it did pretty well. I like it, it's very comfortable. All right, so next we've got the interior. You can see how awesome the exterior is and they've just brought it right along inside. They've continued with the Kodo design theme, which is what Mazda's been using the past couple years. So hopping in, you see we have a nice power driver seat here. My malfunction of the camera is good. Uh, it's a power driver seat with power lumbar. We've got power up-down windows. They're automatic up-down on all four windows, which is something that I absolutely think is awesome. Uh, power lift gate, all of our buttons for the traction control and the blind spot monitoring, things like that. In the driver's seat, it's a very commanding view, but it's a very comfortable seat. Everything is nice and within easy reach. We have a dual zone climate control here with heated seats push button start, automatic lights, automatic wipers because we are in the touring model. And this one is the touring with the premium package. Now that adds quite a bit of extra stuff to it. So we have navigation, we have bows, we have a nice moonroof, uh, auto dimming mirror, uh, the aforementioned auto dimming wipe, or auto uh, wipers. It's very nice in here. We've got large cup holders, cubbies up here. Uh, this splits open. We've got more USBs and an SD card holder in there. Uh, quite a lot of space up here. There's good cubbies in the doors, a nice big glove box. Uh, pretty good. Uh, lit mirrors, nice sliding sun visors. I like it. So one of the reasons you're going to be looking at a vehicle such as this with three rows is because you're going to be carrying people with it. So I wanted to show you all of the nice things that are in the back seat and the third row. So one of those things that comes on this touring model with the premium package is the rear shade. So you can put those up if you have a child in the back seat and keep them out of the sun. But there's a lot of room back here as well. So with my seat as it was, I'm 5'7". There's uh, plenty space. I like that there's actually two holders here in the back of each seat. Normally you see one, sometimes you don't even get any. So that's a really nice added bonus. And these seats too slide back and forth. So even with the seat all the way up, giving the third row more room. I still have plenty of room here. We have our automatic climate control for the third row here. And then one of the things that I found to be absolutely awesome is not only do you get cup holders and a cubby here in the middle, but in this cubby, Mazda was thinking here, you actually have two 2.1 amp charging USB ports here. So you can happily have your children back here plugged away on their iPads or charging their phones, doing whatever they need to to keep themselves occupied without running out of juice, which is very well thought out. But one of the biggest things that Mazda was trying to do was to make the third row access extremely easy, and they did. So pull that lever, the seat flips and slides very far forward, and all you do is hop back inside. I have a good amount of room back here, and I'm gonna actually pull this right back on me. And with that seat slid forward, as I was showing, my knees have just as much room as they did when I was in the second row. I have plenty of headroom above me, although it'd be a little tight if you were taller than me, uh, but it's a very comfortable seat back here. I, I can't imagine not uh, being okay going across town or for a longer trip if you were a small person in the back seat here. So there you go. 
And then there's the cargo room, because that's the second reason you're going to buy an SUV. This has the power lift gate on it. It's programmable, so you can put it as high or low as you'd like. This is the cargo room with the seats up. You can see quite a bit here. We have a cubby under here, which I put the extra floor mats in, but that's a good couple inches deep and as large as this whole area. You can take this just totally out and have a larger load floor altogether. But you can also flip these down. And again, you're gonna maximize your load floor and you can flip those down so you have one nice, long, flat, even surface area. Really quite a bit of room. Close that just by pressing the button. Walk away totally hands-free. I am thoroughly impressed with the CX-9 for this year. I am really sure that you will be as well. Come on down, take it for a drive, see how quiet it rides, see how powerful that engine is and how refined and spacious it is on the inside. You know who I am, Hollis from Graponi. Come on and see us at Graponi Mazda. Thanks for watching, guys.